Uh, so I'm going to take a knee. Be you to be nice. We're going to work on this high kick on the other one. So if you want to go higher, you can, but I'm going with the idea that I'm coming to maybe the mid rise, maybe into this uh, leg. So the tie kick is different from any of the kicks we generally do. Right? You have your, there's no chamber in the tie kick. So your knee is slightly bent throughout the kick, and all the power comes from the hip and body torque. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do 10 with each leg, but we're going to start in that kicking stance. Remember, so my, my feet are much more in line. Right? They're a shoulder width apart, but my toe and my heel are in line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a slight step. Whenever I'm going to kick, I'm going to take a slight step in the direction that I want to kick. Okay, and then this leg is going to just think of a bat swinging through that I'm trying to cut through him as opposed to hitting the trap. I never retract on tie. If he's not there, uh, if he's not there and I miss with the kick, I just go through. Usually spin around the shield. Okay, so you always step and go through the kick and then you ready to shield. I didn't uh, clench my jaw without uh, grinding my teeth. Anyways, uh, and I haven't done this kick in a long time, so it's not going to be that hard. You see how Brian's holding the pads, he's using his forearms. There's a slight gap in the, in the bottom of the pads, they're not right together, there's a slight gap, and he's got them angled out slightly as well. Right? So as my kick comes in here, it just steps right across. The swing through, okay, so it's that small step. There we go. Okay, so I do 10, but you can do 10 like this. It's okay just to get the mechanics. You can just, and as you go, you can start pimping up. I use my hip, okay, and then switch and do it in the opposite lead 10 in the opposite lead. Small step. Okay, dry it out. Thank you, guys. I'd say the one thing is you, you tend to warm up to the, um, uh, the pads plated. So, like, uh, but even though you know, the pads here, that's your target, you're starting off kind of like this. So, if you're a little bit more square, you'll be able to get a little bit more to work. So, let's work on doing a, a four count. So, these are basically, like I said, this is intro to Thai boxing. Four counts are where we usually start. First, first four count we're going to do is going to start with the hands. So I'm going to start with a jab cross, cross, and then I'm going to give him a little shove with my lead hand. As I do that shove, I'm, I'm using it to, my arm is straight, I'm pushing with my hips, so I'm opening up my body, and it's going to hold for the rear kick. Okay, so that's the first four count. Should be a double kick, probably, to make it a real four count, because this is one, two. The shove doesn't really count, right? And then it's a double kick. So when you do double kick, I'm going to step out, and I'm going to kick, and I bring my leg back, but I don't, Change this orientation here, keep it, and throw the second kick. So, jab, cross, shove, jab, cross, shove, step. Yeah, my tie box is going to be stuck against this. But that's okay, that was that, not too bad. I for not having done it in a while. I'm going to try that, that's your first four count. If you want to use the other leg, switch leads, do the opposite lead. Jab, cross, lead hand as a shove, and step and I kick. Okay? Double kick, four count number one. So again, I'll just quick with Brian. I'll do it in this way so I can kick with this leg. Okay, so I jab cross, and then my lead hand, I'm going to stiff shove him, and then rear kick. Okay, two kicks. No worries. Yes? Good? I'm, I mean, you can see my tie boxing is sloppy. It's been a little while since we've done this. So try and break it down. Take your moment. Take your step to open, make sure you open it up. And then try to swing through. <laughs> All right, good try. Jab cross, double rear. Get your squat down. Get your squat down. Yeah. That's it. Once you, you do either come to the leg or the legs. Yeah. Right? He's really tall. So. And just be clear that, yeah, that's it. That shot should be done. With your arm extended and you push, right? As opposed to doing this, I don't push with this. I extend my arm and I shove it like this.
Start again with three, and then two, and then one. And then you're going to switch and do it in the other leg. Okay? Pyramid to three, back down. Sure, let's do this after us. Now one. 